The Terry College is proud to present its 2012 Distinguished Alumni Award to Jimmy Barge. It's my pleasure to welcome Jimmy Barge to the stage. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes are yearning to stray and step around the heart of it. New York. Wow. Well, that's great. How about them dogs? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Boy, first I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, what a privilege to be honored by you, uh, to be on this stage and share this honor with Brother Stewart and Matt, and looking at all of the other recipients of this award in the past. I'm just glad to be uh, in that company. Uh, when I think about the company that I've often been in, particularly before coming to Georgia, I think of the Garth Brooks song. I have friends in lowly places. <laughs> but it's really special to be here and came in. Thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, you know, it is easy to give back, like all of you do as well, when so much has been given to you. And I have to tell you, it's, uh, it's just wonder. Maybe it's part of our Southern heritage, uh, part of just being part of the University of Georgia and being you know, part of a wonderful community. And I can't tell you how great it is to be back home. After 17 years in New York, I love my Viacom colleagues, but they still think I talk funny. <laughs> and you know, today, just driving, driving in the car today off for a golf game with some buddies, you know, you're just reminded of how wonderful it is here in, in our wonderful state. Uh, you know, I could actually find a country music station I mean, that's actually nice. And you know, somebody waved at me in the car. <laughs> you know, in New York, people wave, but when they wave, their index finger is extended. <laughs> so it's just wonderful being back here. I'm just so glad to be back home. Uh, and you know, it's kind of funny with my Southern heritage and, and, and living in New York for 17 years, when they ask me about my theme song, uh, I wish I had asked my wife. I wonder what she would have chose. That's pretty cool, Matt. <laughs> you know, I said New York, New York, because it's a for a lot of reasons it's a special song. But you might not have thought about that uh, for me. But there's a few things. First, uh, when we lived in London, uh, my wife Susan and I uh, got to see Liza Minnelli, one of her favorite uh, performers and actresses, uh, sing that. And likewise, one of my biggest career changes uh, when I was originally was with Ernst Young at the time and I was making a decision and was being offered a job by Time Warner to move to New York. Now, this wasn't something I was really contemplated. So I, I really said, yeah, okay, well, I'll meet you halfway. We met in Dallas, uh, met in the crown room there. And I thought, you know, I'll be respectful to my client. I'll come in, I'll listen, I'll fly back home, brought a bunch of work with me. Well, I really wasn't hopeful of an offer. They ended up making me an offer that I, that I had uh, not expected and that I hadn't even hoped for. And it was more than I could hope for. And I took that plane ride back and, and I'm realizing, mm, big decision. And I knew that we'd likely be moving the family back cross country. And so I walked in that room to kiss my wife humming and singing, New York, New York. <laughs> she knew, there we go, we need to pack the bags and off we go. So that's very special song, but it's also special for another reason. There's a few lyrics in there, several great lyrics, but one, if you've made it here, you can make it anywhere. And I think that is so true about the University of Georgia. And I can tell you, I have never felt that I could not compete with anybody. That the education I had, I don't care what Ivy League school, I don't care where they were, whether it was London, Los Angeles, or New York, I always felt prepared and that I could compete with anybody out there. And thanks for what you give us. It's just so wonderful. And I have to tell you, you never gave up on me. And not only that, 
I mean, I just got in at the University of Georgia. As the, as the tape rolled, I mean, I must be, I know they don't do that now, but literally, when I got accepted, there were no classes. I literally picked up my classes and drop ad. There's also a gentleman here tonight, Gene Weeks, at one of the tables. Gene, you just got to show your hand. Another great guy from the University of Georgia who was at drop ad. This is Stegman Hall. I'm walking around, had no clue. I'd never been to Athens in my life. When I got in that MG midget to drive to Athens, I literally had to get a road map and then follow. Fortunately, it was a football game weekend, and I could follow the traffic up 78 Highway. I swear, I'm not making that up. It just doesn't happen today. And so I'm walking around Stegman Hall, and I've got my, you know, little computer cards, right, which each one represented a class. And Gene Weeks walked up, and I knew Gene because we were fellow ride supervisors together at Six Flags, and Gene was much more mature than I was and <laughs> four years ahead of me. It wasn't a very high bar, but, uh, but he definitely had his act together. And, you know, he was looking out for me. He said, Jimmy, let me, oh, you got in Georgia? Oh, good, good. How'd you get here? Let me see what you've got. So he goes through my cards, and he goes, oh, man, STAT 201. Nobody passes that as a freshman. Are you kidding me? So Gene got me on the right track with the right cards, and, uh, and the University of Georgia did so much for me, as I know they have for everyone else here. And I'm just so appreciative of that, and, and it is time for me to give back. I want to give a shout-out to the School of Accounting, uh, who does such a great job of uh, ben Ayers and the program, Denny Beers for James Don Edwards, who I know was here earlier tonight, are still here. Uh, a lot of my colleagues with Ernst & Young, where I got my start, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Uh, the PwC sponsors here tonight, they support us so much uh, in Viacom in New York, Max Blocker and the team there and very appreciative. The Wells Fargo guys coming from New York, some of our bankers, and really want to thank all the sponsors for this evening. Uh, thank you so much for what you do. And of course, uh, I've got to thank my, my family, uh, many of whom are here this evening, uh, so special in providing me with the opportunities that I had growing up. And uh, my parents, uh, my mom in particular, uh, you're the world's best, I love you. Uh, and I guess the uh, you know, thing we're the most proud of, I mean, with all the success or our quoted success is, uh, you know, the thing I'm most proud of, are, uh, and I know Susan would say this too, is our children. So Jamie and Andrew, thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. And also to my, uh, and I would like to say, you know, they, despite the fact that we've moved them around the country, you know, they still have that Southern heritage. I want you to know, my daughter can ride any horse, she can drive a pickup truck, and my son drives a pretty mean dirt bike. So uh, I really, we treasure them, and of course, my wife, uh, who's really the music of my life, and I just want you to know that uh, she's obviously moved around the world with me, back and forth across this great country, and I just want you to know, despite the New York, New York theme song, uh, when we're traveling, uh, the song that we request to be played and we hold hands and dance to is Georgia On My Mind. Thank you. Thank you.